All right, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, okay? Happiness is a skill. What? Yes. Happiness is a skill, and today we're going to go over potential reasons on why you are not happy and how to change it, because we all want to be happy. And guess what? I don't feel this way. I don't feel this bubbly every single day, because a lot of times I choose not to. And I'll be honest with myself and vulnerable and just say that. If you're new here, I'm Sarah and I created this channel to help you build a more beautiful and loving and fulfilling life with a dash of spirituality. And today we're going to talk about happiness. So I feel like happiness is a really distorted and like frou-frou and like la 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 like rainbowy word, right? But it's not because the reason we pretty much do anything, if you go through and you trace your why, which I've talked about in other videos, why do you want the car? Why do you want this? Why do you want that? And you give an answer and then you ask why again and then you keep asking why. It's because at the end of the day, for some reason, that thing you believe will bring you happiness. You know, for a lot of people, they want financial freedom, why is that? So you have the freedom to do whatever you want, well, why do you want that? Because if you do what you want, you will be happy. You want more money. Okay, well, why do you want more money? I want more money so I don't have to stress about bills. What will not stressing about bills do? It'll make me more calm, which will make me more happy you know what you guys let me know you let me know in the comments below if you can think of something that anyone wants that's not going to ultimately bring them happiness and there's some kind of other reason because i can't think of any and the thing is is in our society we have been so conditioned to think that happiness is out there happiness is the job happiness is the relationship happiness is the car or this or that and so what we're always doing is striving to get these material things when in reality, we can actually be happy in any moment. You can be happy watching or listening to this right now because, you know, of course, if, if my channel brings you a little happiness, you know, I want you to hit that like button, throw me a subscribe, you know, because we're all about improving life, self-improvement, and living a more positive life here on this channel. So we think if we get these things, if we lose the weight, if we do this, plug in anything that you want in life, that's where our happiness is. So what we've done, and particularly what society as a whole has done, has conditioned us to put a barrier in between where we're at now and happiness up on this pedestal. But the thing is, is once we receive or get or achieve those things that we want, maybe you wanted to lose 20 pounds and then you did it, you'll be proud of yourself. It'll feel good, like of course, but then maybe you wanna lose another 10. And so what it does is it, it creates this cycle in our lives where we're kind of like a, a hamster running on a hamster wheel and we never actually get happy because we don't actually know how to. We don't know that happiness is an internal job. It's not all these exterior things that we have been conditioned to believe that it is. It's things that we can choose to be in every moment. You can choose happiness right now. You know, why do you think there are so many people out there who have a lot of money or have this or have that, but they're unhappy? Or why do you think there are so many people that are in, you know, third world countries and they're dirt poor and they're out there dancing in the street. You know, if it all came down to money or these material external things, then we would know exactly who was happy and who exactly wasn't. But that's not the case. And the reason is, is because it is an internal consistent job. It is a choice we choose in every moment of every day. And here's the thing, choosing happiness, it's not easy. In fact, I would say that being happy is actually quite a lot of work. It's a lot of work to consistently be vetting your thoughts that are coming in and not allowing external things to determine whether you're going to be happy in that moment or not. 
And so what happens is we get so used and conditioned to these external factors and being unhappy that we just think it's normal. So if you haven't checked out this video, I'll link it right up here. And this is a more scientific video I made based on how the neurological pathways in your brain work that have conditioned your brain to live the pattern and live happiness or lack thereof lifestyle that you currently live. I highly recommend to check that out after this video. It's very interesting stuff. You know, one of my favorite YouTubers, his name is, is Ralph Smart, if you know him. If you do, let me know below because I love him. He defines rich R-I-C-H is realizing I create happiness. And I absolutely love that because once it clicks in your mind that you are the reason that you're unhappy or happy, you have the full control over it. You can have the, the worst thing going on in your life and, and still be happy. And the thing is, is happiness looks different for everyone. You know, these things are going to make me happy, but they're not going to make you happy. And there are things out there that are going to make you happy that aren't going to make me happy. But what can make us all happy and level the playing field is understanding that we can choose to see the positive when we're conditioned to see a negative. As we slowly rewire our brains to begin to see the positive in the negative, it starts to become more natural and then it becomes more effortless. Like there are times where, you know, maybe I'm about to complain about something or I do complain about something and immediately a positive thought comes right in after it, okay? Like for example, you know, I'm working this job right now, okay? Wonderful place, wonderful people, it's a great job. But my soul knows that working full time in the traditional way isn't fulfilling for me. And so sometimes I'll just be like, ugh, like I don't wanna work or I don't want this job or whatever. And then immediately because I've conditioned myself over time, a positive thought comes right in after and says, you know what though? I am so grateful for it and it really is the best job out there for me if I'm going to have one. And so what you do is you have to practice. You actually have to practice happiness. You have to practice positivity. It's not something that's just given to people. I think that's a huge misconception about people that you see that seem like they're happy or positive all the time because they were just born that way. That's not the case. It's something that has to be worked on every day and look, I don't get on here for the most part when I'm having those not so happy days. I don't want to film on the days that I'm not feeling happy because I want to boost you guys up and that's why I created this channel. Now obviously there have been videos where I've cried for you guys and I've been down and I've gotten vulnerable and I've showed you things, but I'm saying all of that just to say that, you know, people that you perceive to be happy and positive all the time it takes work to get there and they've done work to get there. So you can get there too. You can be happy even when you feel like you are not, you haven't created the most perfect life for yourself. Even when every situation doesn't go the way that you want it to, it doesn't mean you still can't be happy. And only you can remove that barrier that you've put there saying, I will only be happy if I achieve this. I will only be happy if I get this. Because here's the bottom line. If you're constantly searching for happiness out there with that house and that relationship, that vacation, you're not gonna get it. You'll never achieve happiness. Happiness is not an achievement that once you get it, it's, it's done and you're just happy for the rest of your life. It's something that you have to work on consistently every day by vetting those thoughts and by understanding that no one else has control over you and your internal world, only you do. I want you to comment that down below. Only I control my world. Only I control my world. I hope you guys found some value in this video. I love you so much and I just want you to be so happy. And more specifically, I want you to learn how, like how to do that and what's stopping you from being happy because guess what? We all deserve to be happy. We all deserve to live a beautiful, fulfilling, positive life. 
If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe so we can hang out again next week. And don't forget to like and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video with me. I love you guys so, so much. And don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. Thank you.